Any of you know how chat GPT actually works? You only type a question, it gives you answer. That's what you know. That's not the way to use chat GPT. It's something called prompt. Recently, there will be uh, there will be this new designation in the world. People are saying that you need to be a prompt expert. You should know to run a, ch a chat GPT related any AI software, right? So you need to understand. So I'll as I said, imagine uh, with the chat GPT or maybe like an iPhone, all of us in the world have iPhone, but not too much people understand photography. So you need to understand photography so that when you use an iPhone, you can take a better picture. Same things happens with a chat GPT. Chat GPT is free for everybody. But if you're an expert into marketing or branding, you will ask a very specific question and get a very valid uh, article on branding. But if you don't know anything of branding, just a great designation or some stupid designation like I'm an expert, I'm an intruder, whatever. With that, you will start, type a, a stupid question. Outcome will be stupid. So input is equal to output. Think about it. Very simple. Input is equal to output. So so like having an iPhone will not change your world to become a better photographer. Or having a chat GPT will never make you a smarter person or an expert. How you use it is where the trick lies. So, so, I, so I need to learn to you know upgrade. Most of my friends, colleagues, most of them, they are actually outdated and irrelevant. So that's the reason I try to rejuvenate. I behave like a student. I read all the time and I'm always challenge myself. But this is what I love. This is what kicks me. Because actually, everybody <laughs> has been waiting for for this session right now uh, because uh, in even in the senior batch. And yep. junior batch, people are just going aware that we need to attend this session. This is a very re recent topic on chat GPT. And uh, uh, everybody is interested in knowing what actually this uh, chat GPT is going to do in the future. I'm truly excited for this topic. And what a wonderful topic you've chosen. Not just the chat GPT. In fact, there are two around 2000 over of AI similar to that has already come. Only what has happened, chat GT, GPT has already sparked that, you know, that curiosity that it can do wonder. But believe me, with the help of chat GPT, you will see not much thing will happen for people who are stupid. I'll give you a very simple example. We all know, we all know that getting up five o'clock in the morning and running in the morning and not eating junk food, not smoking and drinking is good for health. How many people continue to go to a gym after paying their gym subscription in the month of January? 70% drop by the by 15th of February. Worldwide. So, so when something comes, we all jump in, but we really don't know how to use it. But here, going to gym will 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 reduce your metabolism or your health. It will gradually do. What chat GPT will do is going to be dangerous. So that I'm going to talk. So you cannot ignore uh, such uh, AI. You know, chat GPT is just, I will use here, uh, in fact, chat GPT as, as, a, as a metaphor or maybe an analogy. Many things are coming. I will also talk on those, which is far more richer. Uh, and chat GPT will get intelligent as we go. So it's going to be, you know. But uh, people think that uh, with the help of this software, they will able to, you know, crack things. Mm, on the on the other side, there will be uh, many, any, uh, many other Things happening around it so i'm going to talk all the stuff so there are right now 40 people okay. yeah, we'll just, so just be having a formal I'll... introduction okay, and then okay, we'll okay, start off okay. so on that note uh i would like to urge kushal to please introduce her we've been talking but let's introduce her first uh guys a warm and hearty welcome again my fellow mendavians i welcome you back to conversation the marathon 3.0 uh, with our esteemed guests lined up to enlighten you on all the various topics that are currently in trend. Uh, on that note, I would like to welcome our first speaker. I have a long uh, introduction that I took out from LinkedIn and other sources of uh, uh, Subhavroto sir. But I am not going to use that. Uh, to name a few, he has been a keynote speaker at Global Digital Marketing Summit, Branding 360, Hong Kong World. And there, the list goes on and on. But what I like about Shubhrato sir is, when I had the first conversation with him, he was that person who had a vision. He's a visionary who wants to change people's lives. What did he say to me was, uh, is this session offline or online? And I presume that uh, he would be wanting it online, of course, so that he doesn't have an asset. But what he urged me to do is, 
he wanted to have a session offline which we are planning to do in the future let's see let's hope that happens but he wanted to talk to all all the students like you and change your thoughts that is a person that i was inspired by and i was really looking forward to the session yes sir, absolutely I'll, i'll tell you something interesting is that uh, uh, when i realized that ai i always since i am a student and i believe that i am student and i don't know maybe 90% of the thing around me i only know maybe not even 10% i don't know and whatever 10% i know as of 2022 uh, is 30% or 50% become irrelevant in 2023 so maybe i know less than 5% right so whatever i know is getting is getting into getting you know uh, you know outdated so this, this because digital arena or digital ecosystem is like that whatever you know you cannot you cannot uh, bask in the in your past glory that's the problem most of us i have seen professors i have seen you know i i go to around 60 colleges across the, across india i've been speaking across uh, singapore international speeches i see the same phenomenon is there right most of the people are outdated most of the professors are outdated most of the teachers are out there because they believe they are teaching they believe they are professor most of the professor are not they are all theoretically very 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 you know uh, skilled but it when it comes to practical they are not most of the people who have joined as a sales marketing uh, professor in an university was working in a sales 15 years back so he has no relationship with the with what is happening right so i am worried about so when i get this opportunity when i was uh, you know kushal was got in touch with me i was excited what i do why i am excited um, you know is that all these what 43 people here if i can change at least four people's life is what i get out of this you are not paying me any fees for this but my fees is i get my fees when i see four people question me and i guide them through uh my good advice or whatever you call it and i change their life i impact their life that is important because such opportunity not much people because i have seen people coming talking in the forum and going away after that they really don't care who is you know you know so i told kushal kushal whenever you are having i will only speak less and i will have a more q and a session and all of you can uh, go to my linkedin all of you can you know uh send me a request i think you will get a follower request because my 30% limit is over 30000 uh, the limit is already over 5 years back so whatever you send me a request i will try to you know act, you know accept and you ask me question not today tomorrow in the next till the time i am alive i am going to advise you <laughs> so what inspiring thoughts sir just you know it's so fascinating that being in the industry and just thinking like this that if i change four people's lives that's very inspiring yeah. thoughts i'll tell you why because when i were uh, in your place uh, we didn't got any mentors we didn't got any advisors we used to look for you know his uncle my friend's uncle his dad working in a great company i used to go and wait for him uh, to speak to him in the evening when he's back from the office and asked to ask him because there were no google there were no search engine there were no newspapers where you could get so i still remember i wanted to be a filmmaker so i wanted to i didn't know where to apply so i went to you know someone told me nid national institute of design you should apply you should apply in mica you should apply in jamia mila i went to delhi by that time i went to jamia mila it, the, the door was closed so we got we went through hell we went through uh, we didn't know what is available we know we don't know where to get what so the idea is to whenever i come and speak uh, in or gets opportunity i try to make it a point what i haven't got i want to give it back <laughs> Uh, so sir the endless list of achievements you, you all can go and search subrato chakravarti on google you can get the list of achievements so without any further ado sir the stage which is obviously virtual is all yours on the topic how chat gpt is going to change the future of marketing great Over thank to you, you thank you so much thank you for such kind words i am also privileged i'm so happy and that you invited me i am so happy that i got the opportunity to meet all these 50 young student who may be better than me at your age i was not that good i'm sure you, so i will maybe through your questions i will learn so allow me to share the screen so welcome welcome to my session i hope uh, we will have a very exciting time so with, without much uh wasting i let me start
let me first uh, start with i went to a conference few months back uh, and you can see from my presentation i use my working slides i don't make a cut paste slide which i was telling to your friend five minutes before so this is martin sorrel the king of uh, marketing and advertising world he owns around 60% of the maybe the advertising industries uh, companies across the globe wpp so in india as we call it wpp group is the he was i mean he is i guess he's no more right now he got stepped down but he used to be you know few few months back was the uh, you know the sole king of uh, uh, the advertising industry so he used this word that the toothpaste has been left with you and it cannot put it back this is what has happened across industry now before i get into chat gpt all of you i'm sure will have no idea what is ha happening happening across the ecosystem you must understand to understand chat gpt and the repercussion and the impact that chat gpt or similar ai is going to happen to your world and my world in the next 10 to uh, 12 months right the first thing i think most of us most of the cxo marketing people you know you should understand branding how it works and the finances and there's something called martech martech i don't know how many of you understand martech is what is happening right now we are into 4.0 so so martech is all about when marketing marries technology is what is happening right so martech is is right now right now what is what i see we are right now standing and that's the reason we are all getting thrilled by what is happening around us now if you understand this is word called the marketing technology the word itself germinated in the 2014 by uh, harvard business review magazine this is the page of the magazine which i took a screenshot and i put it here uh, this was the first time a new terminology or a designation came in the world it is marketing technologist right so all the people old school people who are only into marketing are is going to be outdated 70 percent of the marketing people with old mba degree will not work so this is what we see right now happening right next is now these are sub certain all actual slides which uh, uh, you know the founder and the president of uh, uh, you know mindshare uh, sam balsara is is one of the renowned uh, and the stalwart top notch executive and the founder of this uh, you know, advertising and media agency that rather he used the slides i took a screenshot and these are so interesting to see now if you see the business need the top notch talent and we are missing placement in the in the tire one from the institute, which means in a in a job offer in i am ahmedabad in 2021 the most of the job offer came from consult if you see this consulting came more and uh, right fmcg technology bsfi and others and uh, if you see here advertising and marketing was not there they're not hired they were not hiring people from i am so jobs were more into consulting. Now, what I'm going to say in this slide has a relation in my in my next slides. Okay, next is we need this, right? So what is happening right now? This the meaning of this. What I mean and understand by we need more cows and we we need less of milkman, which means we need people who can deliver, who can contribute, and we are not looking for anyone who's a third party. Milkman don't give milk; he just take the milk from the cow and give it to us. So this third party, middle people will vanish. The middleman is going to vanish from the ecosystem. And that what chat ChatGPT is going to do, which I'm going to explain in the coming slides. So we need more cows. So if you and I become more cows, when I say cow, not in the demeaning sense, but in the sense of giving value to the ecosystem or to our job or to our society or to anything, is how we will make us, you know, we will be surviving in the next, uh, you know, two decades or three decades uh, of our career. Now, if you see this, mathmen and madmen are generally two words used in the advertising and marketing industry. So if you see this, Sabal Sara mentioned that they're looking at data specialists, data scientists, martech professionals, these designation and content, apart from this last one, all these designation, all these type of people, all these type of resources was unheard in the advertising and the marketing fraternity in terms of agency. Agency never hired a data specialist. You will not find much marketing company, which I'm going to talk in the next few slides. They don't have a data specialist or a data scientist or a marketing profession in their company. Large company, more than 1,000 crore company, don't have all these people. They still have this, you know, designers and copy and all those stuff, right? So the, see, he mentioned that if we don't have these people in, in our 
in our ecosystem, advertising and the marketing industry is going to fail. This presentation was before the launch of ChatGPT. So what I could relate, what I understand, what I learned from it, what this gentleman told us two months back in the conference is what is happening in, at, at the present. The present said we find a correlation. Okay. The next one is this one. <clears throat> so most of us, you know, Indian administrative, uh, you know, services, all these words has been there for many, many years. Now we need marketing as a service. So most of the, this advertising agency word is going to vanish. He mentioned, this is Mr. Balsara. You can see he's speaking in the, on the podium. This is the one. Uh, so I, he's, he's, been, he's been respected and a very you know, a respectable person in terms of knowledgeable as, as well as you know, understanding of the ecosystem. He mentioned that the advertising agency and the marketing agency designation are going to change. So we need, we, you, so advertising agency are going to vanish gradually. He, he told that most of the advertising agency in this country, they, are, they don't understand anything of digital. They don't understand, I mean, 70% of the advertising uh, professionals don't understand anything of marketing or digital or anything. So that's the reason when clients are asking, they will not be able to, they're all struggling. They cannot, and so, so their knowledge of digital marketing is only Facebook posting and YouTube and making some post or running a campaign. That's not digital marketing or that's, and that's the reason most of the people are getting fired uh, from the advertising agency because they're all outdated. Okay, and now these are all 50 plus, 40 plus. So they will have a very high bad time uh, surviving in the next 10 months of uh, in this industry. Now, now this one, let me show you. If you see this, this is a this is this is where uh, you know who is making more margin. This is the margin where gross margin on this side, and this is the you know revenue of uh, in, in billion dollar twelve months thing. If you see the the lowest are WPP Group, Interpub, Omnicom. These are all advertising agencies, creative agencies, media agencies. Right? These are the people, and the people who are making more money. And more uh, profit and more revenue are these guys, Accenture's and the Deloitte and the you know the Cogentech and in you know Infini or whatever you call it. So Accenture is not the word Accenture. It can be. I will, I will show in the coming slide. These are all you know IT uh, company who have already uh, converted them into a digital parameter, and they are all their service are uh, very very modern. Uh, unlikely, unlikely these people who are still in in old world. So most of you, if you're looking for a job in an advertising agency. I think you should think twice, right? So don't look for a package, you will not survive here, okay? So this is what I see here. Now, this is something I must tell you. I'll, I'll make it simple for you. Don't look at all these colorful slides. Only look at the green slides, okay? The green one, which means the global share of digital format across all media. So if it's a TV media, if this is a TV media, if you see, in 2022, digital format of TV media has become more, which means, TV's, uh, TV's, uh, TV's episodes are cut into Reels and Facebook Watch and they have moved there and they may be making money. Uh, outdoor media, they are using outdoor media. Obviously, outdoor media guy cannot have more than, you know, his number of outdoor. So he's saying, okay, if you give me your outdoor, I will print your outdoor. Along with that, we will use your, we have different screen in different mall or whatever places. I will also put your, so they adding digital into their service. Print. Same thing, you will see a lot of newspaper channel have their Facebook uh, page, Instagram page, where also they're making money. So what do you see here, the green line, this one, 30%, 27%, 27%, 21%, even radio. Radio has come out of uh, their many uh, important channels and which are very famous and popular. So they have put that into a video format and there's a coming as Facebook watch and lives and YouTube video. So radio has moved into digital. Think about it. So what you see here, almost 30, but if you put an average of 30, 27, 27, 21, around 20, uh, you know, 5% of the media, of all other media are also making money in terms of the of, of digital uh, formats. If you see this slide, I will make it very simple. Only look at the downfall. This is the downfall of, uh, you know, this is the blue color, the traditional media. This is traditional media. If you see this one, the downfall of traditional media from 67 to to 41. This is a degrowth. Okay. Now this one, uh, this is your same thing, which is print. Print from 14 has become six. And projection, this is 2022. So it's still below around maybe six or uh, or maybe 5.8, whatever. So 14 straight 50% drop. Now, if you see this one, orange, which is a tele television, television is 29. And which 
thing is going. Digital was 33 in the year 20 and 2017. It has boomed into year 56. So television has surpassed and, and, and bypassed and much ahead of any other media. That's the reason we are into, we are, we, please understand whatever job role you are taking. Please make sure, definitely you don't join a sunset company, try to get into a sunrise industries where you have digital as, because this is growing. And this is 2017 onwards, you can see this graph, okay? Next is traditional and dig, digital media share. If you see the share also, the share is gone. If you see this red one, it has gone from 18 to 37, which is almost 40%. And if you see this, the traditional, you know, media, which is from 82 straight to 62, all are dropping except this one. All are dropping, right? And uh, orange one, TV somewhere, same because penetration is going. It is It has not dropped far from 35 to 36, which is bypass. What has happened? Now, what happened, even if TV is here, and imagine that this uh, print media go from 37 to 58, what will happen? The advertising will start moving, shifting from TV to uh, print, uh, digital. So when the advertising money, ITCs and, and the Wipros and the uh, you know digital, uh, all the ITCs of the world of Pepsi and Coke of the world, if they start spending more money into digital, this will grow. So what will happen? So these are these are these are syndrome. These are very highly uh, you know uh, signif significant uh, movement. We see what is happening in the digital. Now coming back to the last one, which is the market cap. Accenture's market cap is somewhere here. Whereas WPP Group, which is the world biggest media agency, world biggest, Lady Fusion, you name it, all uh, companies are under WPP. So under Omnicom, all this, you know, even Cogentech is, is you know, three times the, uh, the size of uh, WPP. So this is the market, you know, so so this is the gap. If you un don't understand this gap, if you think, okay, I got a Cogentech product manager, uh, 40 lakh salary, 50 lakh salary, I'm safe. Uh, maybe you are, but if you're joining a WPP group as a director or interpub or any agency, it's uh, you should think twice. I'm not saying you should not join, but you should think twice. You should know where you are jumping. So this is the this is the growth. So people will lose jobs in in this zone, and people will get hired in this zone. This is a very clear, uh, you know, layman language I can talk. Right. Next is gross profit. Same thing. I will not talk on this. I will. Uh, uh, you can see this. This is a growth. You know, happening. All the growth are happening and. The, degrowth happening in the advertising business. Now, coming back to this one, this is something which I want to talk. Now, I have broken India into three parts. The Indian advertising, marketing, uh, you, know, uh, you know, departments. So, India is like a triangle. It has three parts. Tech, tech rich, uh, tech uh, ignorant or tech poor, sorry, tech poor and the last one is tech ignorant, which means these are the one person of the company who are maybe 500 plus. These are the people who have a digital marketing team, who have a digital, uh, you know, specialist, who have a data specialist, who have a digital special role uh, and have a department. They have already been highly activated like, you know, Pepsi, Coke, and, you know, Hindustan levels of the world. They're sorted companies. So this is only one person. So if you join or if you work here, your life is almost, you will learn here more because they're already in a very disciplined mode. The biggest problem is this, the, the belly part of the triangle, which is 10 crore or maybe 100 crore, uh, the 75, 25% uh, of these industries are here. Now, how chat GPT will impact, I'm going to talk. This company, maybe uh, maybe they may pay you uh, very high because these are you know people who are on this level, they may pay you high, 100 crore, 200 crore, or maybe 400 crore company. So don't take a job because of a salary. You will kill yourself. It's also called, uh, you know, uh, career uh, uh, career uh, gap or career trap. And there's a blog on, on this, a career trap. If you read it, you will understand. So never joined here uh, in this company. These are the company who are, don't have a dedicated person, who, are, who work with amateur people, not experienced digital people, and low budget. There's no SOP. There's no process. Mom and sister and uh, dad are running shows. These are all family, uh, you know, uh, SMEs of this company. They're very indisciplined, but still among. Uh, so these are my major. Uh, what whatever I'm saying is based on my experience of meeting more than more than two hundred to three hundred people of of these segments across the last, uh, you know, uh, 15, 20 years, uh, 20, uh, 25 years. So this is my experience. This is so this math is percentage based on my own experience, right? 
And this is the dangerous part, which is when I say dangerous, not in terms of they're indisciplined, they don't have any marketing team. They, the sales and marketing and sometimes HR is done also done by one person. These are 75% of the Indian system who, who will never able to understand anything what ChatGPT do. These are the middle people. Now, how this will impact? Now, if this is the ecosystem, how not only ChatGPT, it's ChatGPT related to any AI, how it will impact is I want to talk. If you see this, the next slide. Now, this I see, there's impact happening in the industry, impact happening in profession. ChatGPT or AI is going to impact the people and also the process. So well, there are a few things like who is teaching, where he is teaching, how he is teaching, and who is writing or who is doing it, and at what speed the learning is happening. These are the few parameters, mm, may, uh, may not be absolutely in a chronological order, but these are the something which we see is going to happen in the next uh, five to 10 months, not even a year. How are these? Now, if you see this, in the industry, industry will now demand uh, you know, just sorry, this is a little typo. Demand will actually, they will actually demand more for less. They will be ruthless. Industry will be ruthless in terms of asking for more value. If, if just now, which I said, they will say, you have to be a cow, you have to contribute, right? Now, marketing department is going to shrink. Marketing department will be with of less people, right? These are all my uh, prediction. These are all my, out of my own experience. This is not a cut paste work. You can see that. Middle level job will gradually vanish. Like middle level job will vanish, I see. Whereas a fresher will get more uh, jobs, but at a lower salary is what I can see because of the AI. Because I'll, I'll tell you why. The reason I'll tell you. Two year MBA will reduce to one year because already is happening across the world because no one is giving so much of time. So when so don't think about the chat. AI is going to teach you. He is going to teach you. He is going to you know ask you, learn things at a faster rate, right? So that's the reason what will happen is that uh, many business school who will have one year, they will have a full class, but people who will have a two year, they will have a, they will be struggling, filling up the seats. So this is what is happening across the world. One year MBA is getting more and more popular because no one wants to commit so much of time because people will realize with the help of AI software, you don't need two years to learn everything of MBA. You can learn it faster and in a very simple format. Next is, Rise of ed tech company is going to happen, but the price will drop. Influencer will also get hit now. Influencer will get hit because AI is going to expose fake followers. Now AI will, if you run all the influencers who used to pay money using you know farm aware and is to get some billions or millions of you know followers. Once you put an AI, well, they will able to because already there's AI where you can figure out how many people are fake on your Twitter, uh, Twitter account, how many people are fake on Instagram account. So what will happen? All the, the, in, the true influencer will rise. The fake influencer will fall because this is happening. Because uh, if you imagine if a company wants to pay an influencer one lakh rupees, definitely they want to know how many of your followers are actual and how many people are robots or all fake. This is going to happen. It's flex post. It will bust. Editing studio, sound studio, production studio, expert. These are the industries. These people will actually lose a chunk of work which will go to the you know younger people who will learn without understanding and knowing much detail of sound tracking, sound uh, productions, all those stuff through AI. AI is going to do that for you. So we see uh, the expert, whoever, maybe, maybe he's a sound technologist or a sound uh, engineer for you know, 15 years, he cannot charge the same amount of money because many of his money will be way to younger people. Next is book publication. Book, book publication will fall, right? So... We will see in the next few years or maybe one year, a book publication will because if you go to if you if you go to any roadside uh, you know footpath, you will find uh, twenty all the books uh, available at hundred rupees or two hundred rupees rupees. You don't need to buy it. You just go to AI and you say uh, you know uh, poor dad, rich dad. Uh, what are the twenty learnings I can get from it? It will tell you. So you don't. So what will happen? People will not buy books, and hence the publication will fall. Another thing is that tech reviewer will rise. Lot of DIY yogi. All the spiritual, in fact, I mentioned here, here, if you see, all these things, are, this industry, will, this AI will impact such industry. Now, let me talk about professions. Teacher will lose their job. Bad teacher will lose faster jobs. Professors, local tutor, home tutor, local guide, translator, right? Medical transcription, career guide. You don't need to have a career guide or a counselor because AI will take care of it. 
So the beauty is that you don't need so much of knowledge. Knowledge is going to be free. When I say free, it chat GPT is going to be definitely a twenty dollar is going to be ten or fifteen dollar uh, in the coming. Uh, they've already started roll, rolled out across the world. It's I don't know maybe maybe you have seen it. Now it's going, you have to pay around fifteen hundred rupees per month to do it. So even if you are not paying a yearly subscription, you can use it for six months, seven months, and you can you can get more information out of any human beings, right? So what will happen? The marketing guru and advertising guru and the web, all the these these designations or this profession will get a hit. Because you cannot call because a no guru can read all the advertising book and summarize it and talk and in a in a forum. But any of your kids who, if you spend two three hours, you can actually use API Chat GPT API or to 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 learn two hundred books and and get a summary of it. So you so learning is going to be quite. So these people will be questioned. These people will be you know will have a problem in the ecosystem. Another thing is that. Theory based teacher will be killed by application based teachers because you know historian like people who are in history you are writing geography or if you don't have a theory if you only have a theory uh, because theory can be answered by chat gpt but in terms of application also chat gpt will able to take, related to that will also tell you how to you know how to make a, a 20 website a process they will able to tell you step by step but the only people who are who have an application base will survive People who are only theory and bookish knowledge will vanish. They will lose their job because they will not be able to solve it. Because people will not pay for your theory. As simple as that. People will pay if you can solve it in your own, you know, with with hands-on knowledge. Mental health and self-healing will also rise. You know, the, this this people in the sense, uh, mental people who are in depression mode, they're going through a lot of problem. They don't know what to do because if you go to YouTube, there will be two hundred uh, YouTube videos on how to cure your mental health, but you don't know how to do it. Because you, it's impossible for someone to see all the videos. So you can go to AI so related to chat GPT and say, I'm going through this problem. Act as a, I'm sure all of you know what is prompt. With the help of prompt, you can say, act as a, a you know a mental health expert and tell me I am having this problem. What should I do? And how do I, what are the 20 steps I should do to come over or recover or make my mental? So it will tell you. So all these uh, life coaches, chef, interior decorator, all these jobs will be questioned. Now, what will happen? They will not able to charge the money they were charging for such a long time because all these things are going to be free and it will be done by with 1500 rupees or maybe gradually we see it goes for going to be like 500 to 800 or less than a thousand or 10, 20 dollar. You will be able to get the service. Next is book author. A lot of book authors going to come up, right? Novelists, stand up comedian. For stand up comedian, now you don't have to, you know, uh, you know, uh, people, you don't have to go out. Or to a place and think what is going to be the next stand-up comedian uh, script. So all these things can be easily done by ChatGPT, right? So so or similar uh, AI software. So motivational coach, you know, movie critic, poet, rapper, philosopher, UX UI developer, cyber security. All these people will be questioned now because your bookish knowledge, if you don't know how to do it hands-on, will be quite so. So motivational speaker. So what you pay for us for or if you see here the people. The people also are going to change the, the designation role. They will be questions, writer, public speaking, makeup artist, uh, personal shopper, journalist, artist, like, like anyone. Like imagine there's a, something I meant as astrology. So you don't need to learn astrology to predict. So you don't need to buy those apps. So what will happen? One AI app will kill another AI, AI, AI app, which means imagine there are five astrology apps right now available on Google Store or Play Store or you know Apple Store. And those apps are uh, costing like uh, 2,000 rupees or 3,000 rupees. Now with the help of AI, with the help of uh, many AI, what you can do, you just take a scan picture of your hand and it will be able to read your customized astrology. So you don't need to you know, uh, pay. So what will happen? So it is, it is going to be a fight between AI versus AI. Music composer, you don't need to be a great music composer. If you have a, now how, who are the, now can everybody can become an astrologer? Can everybody become a music composer? Yes and no. If you are already a music composer, you will be able to use AI and enable your skill in a very different level. A research analyst, lawyer, coder, creative people, you know, or even students. So students' lives are going to change because right now students will learn how to cheat, but student will not be able to solve a problem on a real ground level. So when the boss will, your boss will ask you, can you solve this problem? You cannot open a chat GPT and say, this is the strategy. It will give you a very, very general uh, thing, right? It's very difficult to use chat GPT or any other AI to solve your real problem. So that 
is going to happen. So, so students are going to get a shock. You can always submit your papers and you can always, you know, homework can be done through chat GPT, that's fine. But it will also kill you if you do that, if you, that's because you will actually have no knowledge. But if you really read a lot and then uh, use chat GPT, and then it's going to be easy. Like the way I did this presentation, I never went into any, uh, you know, chat GPT, 20 videos, take whatever they're saying, put it in a graph and then present here in the sense, then I will be not doing justice to myself also. Now here, the next one is speed. Who is teaching you? This will change. The marketing automation system, adoption of growth, laggards, all the people who are laggards now, they will start adopting. All the people who never, uh, everybody who, uh, you know, all the people I, I know, a lot of people who don't have uh, a Twitter account, they have an account, they don't log in, they have a LinkedIn uh, page or account, they don't even log in. These are the people who will start trying. Okay, I heard in the reels, there's something called chat GPT, let me try. So, so laggards will start now using, you know, automation and a software. What I see around in the next few months are happening. Time speed will change. The teaching speed will change. The self-learning will rise. Now you will you don't need to wait for to you know to learn a book or watch a 20 minutes youtube video or to learn something your your speed will will be very very high paid dependency human being will reduce so you will you will not pay human being to give you any any gyan so you can learn it uh, through ai softwares right video editing uh, video teaching oral teaching you know sorry it's a it's a, it's a typo uh, video teaching it's a, a, a you know video online teaching i mean to say high quality at the cheapest cost at the fastest mode this is what is going to happen by related to chat gpt now what do i mean by that while all these things are happening what will also impact how to survive if you see this how will you survive the question is that you can only survive through this this is not my slide i have taken from jeron this gentleman at put it on linkedin i found it is very relation we can correlate if you are into this zone or domain that you are a tea marketer or a tea uh, expert, right? If your knowledge uh, is very deep into one, you will not be able to survive. But if your knowledge on a domain is V, quite broader, you will be able to survive. These are very simple things. If you have, if, imagine you're, you're just an engineer, only with only engineering deep knowledge or computer knowledge or whatever, you will have a problem in the in the coming in the coming uh, you know, time. But if you have a broad uh, understanding of technology engineering as well as uh, different how other platforms marketing platform works works how you can you know marry both the things and make something meaningful it will it will work so this is these are two different things i found it's quietly quite relevant to this next is now this is what is going to happen the impact of non ai is people who are not ai related who don't who are not believer of technology who are not who will, who will be laggards or who will be take who will take time to evolve or to adapt so in the next two, three years time, people will get demoted. All these guys, these guys, the top guy, the top company will not pay you 20, 30, 40, 50 lakhs of money. They will say, okay, whatever money you are getting, I'm not getting that amount of, you know, job because you're not working so hard. All are done by, you know, AI. So, so this is a problem here. So I will see a lot of firing, a lot of uh, demotion, a lot of, there will be a decline in terms of salary from the top guy. This is my prediction. The, because the salary versus ROI will not match because most of the people who are right now in this zone are 70% uh, not skilled. They are still digitally, even if they are digitally high, but they are, they are not, they are, they are like this. They are basically T-shaped. If I, if I show you this, mostly these are, these are the guys. They're 40, 50, 45, 47, or 39 people. They're not V, they're mostly T. So this is the, these are, this zone, we see there's a huge salary and job loss will happen here. And the middle level, what I see here, uh, this they will test the AI, but they will pay less. You know they will they will you know they will these guys will hire uh, mediocre semi skilled type of people and mid level guy company will uh, most of the salary will be not uh, prepared uh, what they should be doing it here. Next is the last level of this guy. This guy will, will hire the amateur or the cheapest people. They will, they they like okay I only want Facebook post from ten to twenty because you have an AI to do. So most of the people in this zone uh, will get a lot of job because most of the freshers will do this job. Mid-level guy will, uh, will be, uh, they will be challenged by software. If you don't understand the software, if you don't know how to use it, you will have a quite difficult time going up in the ladder. People who are here, if you're also not a V marketer, you have to step down. So this is what I see here in happening. Next is, uh, so how do I survive? So the future proof is this, API, 
and AI has to integrate. Which means if you see ChatGPT, ChatGPT is just a, if you put ChatGPT on the background and if you use uh, your, your product or your services based on that, it is going to be powerful. In a very in a simple language, I can tell you, Microsoft Bing is going to be a search engine, but it is going to be backed by ChatGPT or ChatGPT 2, 3 or 4, whatever version, which means if, if your AI is backed by an API, which solves a problem is going to be the future of, you know, if you will able to future proof your thing. And the second one is V-shaped, not the T one. This is what I mentioned here. Now here, if you see here, a very old picture I picked up, the photographs has been done, you know, uh, YouTube came here, Pinterest took this part, LinkedIn, uh, all the diaries and notes which to keep, LinkedIn took all this part, Foursquare is no more right now, Instagram, you know, WordPress, Twitter, Facebook, like everything. Or, or maybe Tumblr, Skype, or what you call it, a video called Zoom. All this thing has been taken care of by technology. And now the technology is going to kill and take your job, provided you are not outdated. So if you're not updated, if you think that uh, with limited knowledge, you're going to survive, God help you. Uh, thank you so much. Now I am open for uh, questions.